All right, all packed up, ready to go. Biggest takeaway from the UK is box of Harris chocolates. Yeah, can't wait to dig into this. So plan is one last meal here in the UK. Um, haven't had fish and chips yet. Found this place, supposed to be one of the best places in London. It's about over an hour away by walking. This is what I've been doing, like on top of workouts, just been walking everywhere, because I've been eating nonstop. And before heading out, a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. Again, every single day, my typical routine, usually go for a run, hit the gym, come back empty stomach. There's the first thing I put in there. And I told you guys before, I used to travel with over a dozen bottles of vitamins. Now, scoop of this in the travel bottle, eight to 12 ounces of water, shake it up and drink. And when I was traveling with the mini bottles of vitamins, it was just so messy. Like some bottles will run out before the other. Sometimes I lose track of which one I took, how many I took. But now with one scoop or one travel pack of AG1, I get 75 vitamins and minerals, probiotics, whole foods sourced superfoods. It's just a really convenient way to stay healthy. Also, AG1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond third party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the highest quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. And with your box, you get a pack, travel packs, travel bottle, and a year supply of vitamin D. And for people who hate the sun like me, this is just so important. I've been incorporating this into my daily routine for several months now. I feel better, I got more energy. I'm trying to be healthier. It's helping my gut a lot, which is pretty darn important because I, I don't really eat the most nutritional stuff. I saw my parents up, I had my friends try, now they signed up. It's just such a great product. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below. You'll get a year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your water. This is really a game changer for supporting your immune system. And AG1 really does provide your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. Again, free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your water. All right, let's go get some fish and chips. The golden chippy. Oh no. Oh, that scared me. Someone is opening it. Best restaurant in London, TripAdvisor. I am so excited for this. I'm pretty sure they give us a whole fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a giant piece of fish. Holy moly. This is the haddock and this is the cod. They're both ginormous, ginormous piece of fish. I mean, just exceeded my wildest imaginations. I mean, I've had fish and chips maybe a handful of times in my life. I've never seen a fish this ginormous before. And look at these chips, beautifully golden, crispy, ginormous as well. On the condiments, there's mayo, there's ketchup, two types of vinegar, and of course, tartar sauce. Dip the chips, the chips in the vinegar. Mm. I got the two most popular fish. One is the haddock and one is the cod. It's so lightly battered, oh my gosh. This is about, at least a pound and a half of fish alone. Look how light the outside shell is. The fish inside, it's just glistening. Little mayonnaise. That is 100% the lightest piece of fried fish I ever put in my mouth. Any lighter? This fish would be flying out of the waters. Look at this. Flaky, beautiful, giant piece of fish. And again, the batter, such a thin little layer surrounding that delicate meat. And when you take a bite, I wish my microphone was, was better so I can pick up that subtle crunch more. Oh my God, it feels like the fish just came out of the water. That's how fresh it is. And it's such a simply delicious dish. You taste the natural sweetness of the fish. It is not overly greasy. It's not overly anything. It's just simply perfect. Now for the piece I had it like, literally this looks like a whole side of fish. Again, golden crust, flaky meat, glistening in the light. Mm. It's a tad sweeter 
than the cod. I think I like this more. Best mix in some of that malt vinegar on both the chips and the fish. A little acid to balance out the fry. And even though everything is fried, this whole thing is going down so light. And really, this place doesn't try to do too much. It doesn't try to really over season the batter. It's just a classic mixture of fresh fish and be able to give it the lightest, crunchiest golden shell on the outside. Fantastic last meal here in the UK. <laughs> so awesome. Just got back. I had to ride a bike back because there's no cabs over in Greenwich. Uh, anyway, got to head to the train station. We're already really late. Hope we don't miss the train. Into Paris on uh, Eurostar business class, and this is the lounge. Not much food, but sparkling iced tea. This is pretty exciting. Mediterranean salad. Nice crunch from the vegetables and the pomegranate. You taste the cumin, a little bit of curry. It's pretty good. This I'm really excited about. Mm, it's a delicious looking chocolate cake. A little golden nuggets. How fancy. Now, we are in France. Just went through the Channel Tunnel or Channel. Just so crazy. Linking two countries, going through the ocean, and here we are. Thank you. Entree is served some kind of tomato based chicken with scalloped potatoes and some greens with looks like cumin seeds. All three things have something in common. Hey, no flavor. Yeah, best thing about this whole meal is definitely the dessert. Good thing, not a long train ride. We'll be in Paris in about an hour. We'll eat then. Just got to Paris and starving. I know we're in Paris and should be eating some French fruit, but we got a bunch of French fruit stuff places planned for the next several days. Um, so, found a Citron place in Paris. This place looks so modern and Parisian. Doesn't really look like a Citron place. Beautiful. I keep forgetting to check for prices um, of a Coke when I'm ordering this in a restaurant in Europe. Because in the US, if you go to a restaurant, a Coke is usually like $2, maybe three. I think in London, it was like four to five pounds. Here's about four and a half euros, so about five fifty for a bottle of Coke. Why is Coke so expensive here? So we've been researching this Coke thing. So what did you say? Wine is cheaper than Coke. That's what some people are saying. And that's why Coke is expensive, because no one drinks it. Only Americans drink it. And everyone else just drinks wine. What about like little kids? My 14 year olds are drinking wine here. Really? Is that true? Is this why Coke's so expensive here? Wow. All right, this looks pretty spectacular. So British fried fish, fish and chips in the morning, and at night, the Sichuan version of fried fish. Well, look at this beauty. Covered in chilies and cauliflowers and sesame, and this whole thing is fried. My goodness, this is pretty. So this whole thing from the head to the tail, and they open it up on top and you put all these ingredients in here. All this veg and chilies are in here. And then I'm just gonna take a piece of the fish here. Look at that beautiful, t delicate meat. Looks even better with all those chilies in the background. Bon appetit to me. Mm, that fish meat is so delicate. 
and a little crispy on the outside. And the meat is infused with chilies and peppercorn. Mm. And you can eat the chilies here as well that's on top of the fish. Maybe not the red ones, but these ones here with the sesame and the green jalapenos. Mm. There's dried pieces of tofu under this fish too. I think the dry tofu is a really good vessel for the fish itself. So take some fish, put it on top, some chilies, put it on top as well. Mm. There's also fermented bean sauce in here. Also, got a rib dry pot. Look at this. So these are little pork ribs, whole cloves of garlic, again, cauliflower, Cilantro, enoki, mushrooms, woodier, tofu. Grab me one of these little ribs. Fall off the bone tender and so much heat. Mm. Mm. Love the potatoes. Even this cauliflower looks amazing. Ah, oh, this is a good place. I just dug really deep through the chilies and you come across super delicate fish meat. Oh yeah, this is pretty incredible. That meat on the bottom has thoroughly soaked in. All that nummy peppercorn, spicy chilies, the sesame. My tongue is on fire right now. Mm. Definitely ask for that dish if you come here. It's not on the menu. Just asking for a super spicy, nummy fish bowl of chilies. That's what I would call it. I haven't went to a good bakery yet in Paris. That's a sin. This place won best croissant in 2018, and I hear they're good, really good. <laughs> you just had one. <laughs> I'm gonna try a baguette too. Yeah, and Claire's good too. Here is all their hardware. Wow, this looks so good. Everything looks so good. There's a cheese shop right by the bakery and I accidentally ordered two baguette. Well, accident, I don't know. Subconsciously wanted to, probably. So get some cheese for the baguette. Oh, this place smells nice. Picnic in the park. So last night, got back, crashed right away. Breakfast this morning, 2018 Best Croissant in Paris winner. Oh, that thing is so crispy and flaky. Crunchy, flaky outside, pillowy, soft and buttery on the inside. Now it feels like we're in Paris. I could just eat this on its own like this. Slightly toasty. Such a great chew. The more you chew, the more of that great subtle yeast flavor releases. This is already amazing. It's gonna get better. I think this is truffle stracciatella cheese. It's kind of like a mozzarella cheese with truffles inside. Ooh. A little stretchy. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> this is awesome. That cheese is so creamy. Just a powerful punch of a truffle flavor. Absolutely perfect with that crunchy baguette. This is so nice. I mean, sitting here, Notre Dame is right there in this little park, eating cheese with freshly made baguette and award-winning croissant. That's about as good as it gets right now. Anyway, we're gonna be here for several days. Really here for this amazing buffet about four hours south of Paris. Can't wait to go there and try it out. Can't wait to show you guys this video. I think it's going to be amazing. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.